Now, Kaylee, I heard you have a magician that's over there. It's going to yeah. show us a few tricks. But the question is, can he outdo this? What? That was pretty good. That was pretty good, right? Yeah, and it plays right <laughs> into where we're going. Wow. I love your self-affirmation, Brittany. That was great. <laughs> All right, if you've ever been to a magic show or maybe seen a trick and wondered how they're able to trick you, well, scientists at St. Joe's Neurological Institute are working with top magicians to get a better idea of how the brain works and why we're tricked. There's all a medical tie-in here. We've got doctors Susanna uh, martinez Conde here along with Stephen Mackinick. They're here this morning. Uh, Stephen, you're one of the scientists part of this project. They're both Harvard trained. We also have magician Tony Barnhart standing by next to Javier. And uh, we've got some analysis, sort of a play-by-play -play that's going to happen in just a moment. But thank you for being here. We appreciate it. No, thank you so thank much you. for having us. You think about magic, you think about Barrows Neurological Institute, and you wonder why this is happening. But what's so great is that this really can be used in medical treatments. Yes, uh, magic is uh, telling us a lot about how the brain works, both in health and in disease. Magicians, in fact, have a lead over what uh, neuroscientists know about how the mind works. So, Stephen, let's bring you in on this. There's something that happens in our mind that we actually miss when it comes to a magic trick. Yeah, so one of the things we've done at the Barrow in analyzing what magicians are doing and how spectators perceive magic is that magicians are manipulating our attention and our awareness. So they're controlling the w oh, how we pay attention to things like a magnet controls a compass and that's how they get away with many of their tricks. So it's really kind of a, a psychology lesson for us and they're studying our brains. They know more about us than we think they do. Let's bring Javier and Tony in on this. Yeah, we want to introduce the magic Tony Barnhart. You have a trick that you're going to show us and then we're going to break it down. Absolutely. All right. So uh, since we're talking about science today, I thought maybe we'd do a little experiment, an attempt for me to read your mind. All right. How about that? Uh, <laughs> Good luck. The, the problem with mind reading is you could be thinking of anything, right? Uh -huh. So let's, let's limit the things you could be thinking of to 52, right? Okay. Do me a favor. Take a sample, anyone you like, memorize that card, show it to the camera. I'm going to turn away. I will not look at any monitors, I promise. <laughs> Let me know when there you're done. We go. Ready? I'm turning back. And would you stick it somewhere into the, into the middle of the deck, wherever you prefer? Yeah, we'll tap it right in there. So, I don't know if you have any friends like this. I have a lot of friends who think that crystals hold some sort of power. Okay. Like that they can transmit thoughts. All right. So you could have chosen any card from this deck. Uh, I'm going to have you try and send that thought to me. And I've brought along, I spared no expense, 10,000 crystals okay. in hopes of amplifying your thought and sending it right to me. <clears throat> 10,000 <laughs> crystals. So, what I want you to do, concentrate on your card. Send that thought to the base of the salt shaker. It'll shoot up through those crystals. It'll be magnified. It'll shoot out the holes and hit me right in the brain. All right. Yeah, we can reach it? for a bigger target. You for got sure. it. <laughs> but let's give it a go. All right. Ooh, ooh, your card's the color of a cherry. Is that correct? Wrong. A black cherry. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a club, correct? Yes. In fact, uh, your card is the five of clubs. Is that correct? That is correct. Now, what's even more amazing is that, in fact, there is no five of clubs in the deck. Have a look. No five of clubs. Is because it right there? the five of clubs is the card that I keep underneath my salt shaker over here. Hmm. Hmm. Explain that one over there. <laughs> what happened? This is based on Tony's uh, attentional manipulation. What happened here is that, as you can imagine, Tony put the card below the salt shaker, mm -hmm. but he did it in front of everybody's eyes, in front of the audience's eyes. Everybody had the opportunity to see how that card was being slid under the salt, the salt shaker, but we couldn't because we were not paying attention. So when Tony was spreading the car, this uh, wide movement, this is what we call attentional capture. Your attention wants to go there and you suppress everything else happening at the same time, including something that should be as obvious as sliding a car under a salt shaker. This is so fascinating. We're almost out of time, but I know there's one more trick. Could we rush through it? Is yeah, it possible? It fast. In fact, this is a trick that'll work for, uh, that everybody can take part in at home. All right. I've got some cards here, uh, some face cards. I want you to look at those cards and choose one of them that calls out to you and memorize that card and concentrate it. You could play along too. Okay. You got one? Yeah. All right. I'm going to do my best to divine your card and remove it 
from the pack. Here we go. Aha. I think I got it. Check it out. Did I get it? <laughs> I, I think that means I got it. <laughs> okay, so what, what happened there, what Tony had you do was look at a bunch of cards and pick one. So by doing that, you focused in on a card and you pay attention to one card but not the others, and you remembered that one card. What Tony actually did when he showed you the other cards is that he showed you a completely different set of cards. So huh. he didn't pick your cards. He took away all of the cards that he showed you in the beginning. I've been bamboozled. And he showed you a different set of cards. <laughs> but you didn't know because he got you to pay attention to only one and miss all the others in the beginning. Well, we appreciate your time this morning. I know that you've been in Vegas working uh, with the likes of people like Penn and Teller. There's an event that you can take part in. Uh, you're going to raise money to help with all of this research to help people down the road as a result of this. It's called Magic in the Brain. Monday, September 17th, 7 p.m. at Phoenix Theater. We'll have all that information on our hotline.